Let's welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. Lift your hands, lift your hands and welcome the Holy Spirit. Volume in the microphone, please. And this is your house. Spirit, come and dwell. This is your house. A holy house of prayer. Where the lost and the lonely. What happened to the singers? What happened to your microphone? This is your house. This is your house. Come and dwell. Lift your hands, everybody. Holy Spirit, overflow this place. Paint our walls with grace and mercy. Lord, have your way. We humbly pray. This is your house. Spirit, come and dwell. This is your house. A holy place. Where the lost and the lonely bring their and their prayers this is your house this is your house come and dwell lift your hands and you all look wonderful you look great we appreciate you for coming God richly bless and thank you for coming God is going to do great and mighty things. Tell the pastor next to you. He said, look at me. I came to bring all my burdens right down here in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and give our our offerings to the Lord. And, um, and the Lord will do great and mighty things. We are left with two weeks. We are beginning a new week, week number 10. This coming Sunday. And uh, those are two weeks to the end of phase four, Week is well, 77 the, days of glory. I want to thank God and I want to thank the Holy Spirit. He has awakened our nation to prayer. The witches are so scared. They are now also having conferences. Remember the story of Elijah and Jezebel and the prophets of Baal. It is happening in Uganda. They are somewhere in a hotel because they believe that their power is going away. Their virtuosity gods is no longer active. The Holy Spirit has paralyzed it. Somebody say, fire! Fire! Oh, say it again, stronger than that. Fire it seven times. Fire! 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 Uh, there is a consuming fire destroying witchcraft in Jesus' mighty name. Towards the end, later on, we shall take up an offering for publishing the books of the Holy Spirit. I believe next week 
the fourth book will be out. And, uh, and I believe people are going to be blessed. We give these books for free. In Jesus' mighty name. And I know your life will not be the same again. Amen. 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 Um, all protocol observed. Good to see all of you. And uh, we are honored to have you. I see Honorable Kasole somewhere there. In Jesus' name. How are you, sir? Good to see you. It's good to see you without a, a walker. A walker. Come, come up here and say hi so to the people. people. My God. Come on. See how he's walking. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Honorable, it's good to see you. Come and, come and hear and, and, and say no. hi to the people. Praise the Lord, brethren. I'm where the Casole Luanga. About three weeks ago, I was here for the very first time. I came using a walker because I had a lot of pain in my right leg. Pastor prayed for me. God had his prayer. I left the walker right here. Somebody get up on your feet and clap your hands to the Holy Spirit. I'm getting better every day. I've come once again to join you to pray along with you. And I'll be coming several times from Mubende to come and pray with you. I've also come with my grandchild who has a problem with their mind that they be prayed for. They have placed him somewhere. Thank you for the prayers that have given me life. Praise the Lord. It's good to see you. Very soon we also invite you. Mubanga Sidene. About three or four weeks from now. We shall invite you. Yeah. I want you to teach these people you're a teacher. Praise the Lord. Man, look how he's walking. Honorable Kasole. Sebo Jango. First come, sir. What the, the, the doctors told me Nairobi there were two alternatives they had to operate and remove the bone and replace it with the metal so that the nerve may be straightened in the leg. The second alternative was massage and operation. I couldn't take the operation because I'm 82 years of age. So we had to do physiotherapy until I came here. Pastor prayed for me. God had his prayer. I left the walking stick right here. And I walk, I walk 82 years old, but I'm walking as though I'm 30. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. We are so glad to see you, sir. Thank you. So you two who came here, now we are the one, and you have a need, and you are asking yourself, can God help me? You are in the right place. You are next in line. Clap your hands to the Holy Spirit. He's here. To help us, to build us, to change us. All of you who are sick, 
All of you are troubled. Believe God tonight. That God will touch you. And anoint you. And do miracles for you. Because of his miracle, Honorable Kasole, many people, sir, they have given their life to Jesus. Many of them have got faith in God. Because they know you are a very honorable person. A very trusted person. You can't be bribed. So like a like the young man yesterday. Or the other day, day, whatever he said. So many people, because of your miracle, have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. And we are honored by God. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. The Lord is good. Well, we have guests. We have guests. I said we have guests. We honor the pastor who left his church for two weeks. From Bethel Church in China. And he's here. And he's been with us. He's here seeking God. Not looking for monkeys or whatever. But he's here seeking God. And we are honored by God. And God will bless you. And all other pastors, men and women of God, we are always honored. We are left with these two weeks. I challenge you that you are here. Every evening, the Lord will deliver a word. The Lord will deliver a message. And I believe he will touch someone. He will intensify his anointing. And his grace is available. And his mercies are new every morning. Well, when I call you, please, you come. And when you come, 10 seconds, please. I know we want to say a lot about your problems but just greet the people this is, this is not to declare your problems this is to greet the people the program is so tight we will begin of course we will end up with the Holy Communion and, uh, and of course praying for the sick and, uh, but before we do that um, we will deal with witchcraft to give a chance to people to give their love to Jesus and, uh, and of course, uh, we'll hear the word. We give to in obedience to what God wants us to do. So when I call you, you come quickly. Ten seconds. Jude. Dandy, Scotland. Here in Uganda, we welcome guests. I tell people daily. Every time you come to Miracle Center, your mouth and your hands, you must use them to clap to God and to applaud Him. Zavian Subuga, London, UK. Zavian Subuga, we London, Ebungereza. Motamba Rosetti Rwanda. Rosetti Motamba Vude Rwanda. Naomi Lukumat Misses from Dar es Salaam. Naomi Vude Dar es Salaam. Kakai Rebecca South Africa. Rebecca Vude South Africa. Florence Sebuira Nawaje United Kingdom. Florence Sebuira Vude UK. Malaika McFoy United Kingdom. Malaika McFoy Vude UK. Ndagire Anna Teresa London. Ndagire Avude London. Come on, give them a better 77 days. Welcome. In Jesus' name. 10 seconds. Ten seconds coming. Praise, Praise the Lord. Those are my names. I'm from Denver, Scotland. I'm from Scotland. Um, but then, uh, Masters in International Oil and Gas Management. I've been masters. doing Masters in International Oil and Gas <laughs> Management. <laughs> It's good to be here. I came with my wife. I'm on wed her in January. Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Channel Potter, Hallelujah! Amen. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. Mbala 
Greetings in the name of Jesus. Those are my names. I've come from the United Kingdom. I'm a minister of the gospel. My church is Divine Life Transforming Center. That's my pastor's names. We came to serve God. He sent us to Kanung. We had a crusade there. I came with another mission called Operation Gideon. In the house of my father. God gave me victory. Some stuff is still over there. Praise the Lord. I thank God for this place. Pastor, thank you so much for the great work you're doing. UK people love you so much. We've been following you. My wife sends you greetings. She loves you so much. She gave me her seed to deliver it. I believe, I believe she's watching or she'll watch the recording. She has written a prayer request. She's believing God for citizenship. She also has a problem in the sky. We sent her seed in phase three. prayer request. It was in the prayer request. It's still a problematic issue. It's not as bad as it was. It's uh, being better. I got a problem. I have a child in hospital. When I was coming here, I got a dream waiting on you. Ministers are waiting for me. You're not yet coming. The Holy Spirit showed me to you. You're meditating in the garden. Yes. But I'm believing God because I came in my mind to tell you I have a patient in hospital in Mengo. I'm believing God. God has God showed me. You got it. Whatever word you say, you shall find the patient in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God, child. Yes, you have the way. I'm called Mtamba Rosek from Rwanda. Those are my names. I'm from Rwanda. I thank God. I can't believe that I'm this place for sure. God is really wonderful. God is really wonderful. Uh, uh, the man of God. I'm a mother of four kids. But I have a difficult case. I have a diabetes. Which, which is, is very funny. funny. The doctors have failed. Now I'm remaining with only two options. I want to get healed from here today. I want to pray for me today. And the another option is to go to India. Option in the I don't want to go to India. India. I want you to pray for me. The doctors have failed. They just wonder what kind of diabetes I have. So pastor. Pray for me. I don't want to go to India. Another thing, I have only, I have two sisters. Bansu Zanga and two the you people. They make me stay awake all night. Banduma, I have my sister. Yatoe waya, we are seven kids. Na gamba nzeka ndeko kusoma. She quit school. Took us to school. Pastor. The girl has failed to get married. It hurts me. It pins me somewhere. And another one. The husband has left her. Oh, I want to leave this place. Yeah, we're going to put you know. I want to run. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. This place is there is a miracle. I need your help. Neta gonyambe musumba. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Seconds. Those are my names. I've come from South Africa. Thank God to be me here. I've been watching you via channel 44. 77 days. 77 days of glory. The reason I've come. They sent demons to me from my home. Our daddy died. They sent him demons called Mayembe when I was in South Africa. After two years, our child strangled themselves. 
So two people have killed themselves. The third year. A sister of mine in South Africa was attacked. They wanted us to take her to the witches. I said, let's go to pastor to be prayed for. The Lord bless you. Well, have, God, have faith in God. God will, will do great things. My name is Naomi. Uh, Naomi. Lukumai. Lukumai. My husband is a brother to Mark Abe. I've been watching channel 44 through Facebook, YouTube, but then YouTube and Facebook now you can see through Azam. I believe my family Azam. is watching now. Pastor, I have a gift for Mama Jessica. Nene I love you. I've been Jessica. watching through but this program. But then That's program why I'm coming here to chechi, drink the water. Another thing, Pastor, I need Holy Spirit. That's why I'm coming from Tanzania. Tanzania so Thank you for the book. I also have greeting from my work, work, workmates. Thank you very much. Thank you Praise the Lord. I'm Florence. I live in the UK. We watch on YouTube. And Pastor Jessica. You've encouraged the women a lot. I thank the Holy Spirit and I brought my seed to publish the Holy Spirit, to publish the Holy Spirit books. Victoria Samuels Showman. Seeds from ne the lady. Edna Semwezi Siwai. Edna Semwezi. And from my daughter, Haley Mulenda. Haley. They're, they're right here. God, God bless you. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad to be here. When I was here, Pastor spoke. The Holy Spirit told me when he was speaking. In his kingdom, there is no retirement. I had retired. But I was tired. I said, Thank you, God. You've brought me back. When I went, I went back, back, I thank God the word you spoke of December. 31st. I'm one of them people. I'm with you here now. Now because I'm just going to show. I'm going to start where I start. I was created to push the work of God, the kingdom of God. Not to just waste. I thank God he has been faithful. He has made me a wonder. He has made my children wonders. But I remind you, when you get to that level, don't ever forget your people. Thank God. I brought the seed. Margaret Ann. That's for Margaret. Wonderful. My name is Malaika. Is it Malaika? And I live in Croydon. Better Croydon. And I go to Croydon High School. Is this your granddaughter? No. Listen, when we began the ministry, I always tell the story that the church had only one person or two people who had cars. When I began the ministry, I began with the crusade in 1983. I think I came from the U.S. in uh, February. Then I, was, I, I went to the uh, Philippines. God told me to go to Philippines in June that year. So we, and then I began in October. October, I began at Kavusu. Kavusu. And, um, and of course, there were not so many people who were involved. But this wonderful sister here, she had a car. 
Isuzu yellow. Isuzu yali ya yellow. Brand new car. Nga kapiata. There was also she was she's, her name is Florence. Yeah, Florence. And uh, there was also another Florence. Waro Florence omulala. She is already going to be with the Lord. And uh, so they were transporting us. Literally across. Now, the story, this is going to amaze you. The reason why I talked about it is simply because the story I told about T.L. Osborne in 1985 we had to go, I just come back from the crusade. And she could take time off. And her husband was, was gracious. He would allow her to, to, to drive us around. And at that time, we had uh, uh, Dennis of uh, Limitex. He was still in high school. But he was the keyboard player in the crusade. So we could just go and preach across the country. But it was in her car that, because I, that week I had a fever and I had to go to Entebbe to wait for T.L. Osborne. So it was her car. I think in the body of Christ, I'm talking about the whole country in the body of Christ. There were not more than 16 cars. And I'm talking about full gospel. Full gospel I'm talking about uh, redeemed churches. I'm talking about every church. Okay. So whoever had the car, they were like, every Morocco getting married could use that car. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm talking about. I remember uh, there was a gentleman. He was the only one with a Mercedes Benz. It was left drive. Yeah, left hand drive. His name was Musoke, I believe. He's the one who gave in the Mercedes to go and pick up T.L. Osborne. There was also a sister who was, I think, under secretary, minister well, of something. I mean, it was, you could, everybody who knew car, Mrs. Sakabembe, I mean, everybody who knew, who had a car. Yeah, the whole body of Christ knew them. Not because of the anointing, but because of the car. So, that's why me, I'm very passionate that the Lord brought us that far purely on faith. Purely on faith. So, Bulokole is not a religion. That's why I'm, I'm passionate and I'm telling pastors, don't make that mistake. You, you, to try to think you can, you can, you can re religiously turn the local into that. But anyway, she took me to Entebbe and we squeezed ourselves in there. Pastor Kaloli. Godfrey Mukasa. Musumba Mukasa. Musoke. Musumba Musoke. I think there were about 10 people. In that car. But anyway, and you know how Kaloli is very small. Okay. But it was, so I went there with my umbrella, not knowing that God was going to make a way to pull me from behind and bring me here. Some of you, you are not close here, but God has seen you. He has a miracle for you with your name on it. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus and he's going to do exceedingly abundantly. So, I wanted you to know sometimes when we tell people this story, they think we are making it. She's now... She has grandchildren. This is a gra your grandchild. Wow. Grandchild of who? Your Rachel? Wow. Hi. Oliotia. I saw I saw your mother when she was your age. Mama on Namlabanga. So that's how old I am. But we are glad to see you. Can you give me a hug? 
God bless you. What's your name? Yamalaika. Yamalaika. God bless you. You're a real angel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, 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 wow. Are you Uganda? Praise the Lord. They after losing my loved their son. They left me in London. Then in the same half of it. Akazinda Rukasembeza Kumoja Kogeda Burun to Jacob. Then in the same Tabani Wangan Kubi. I waited for my son to give me a call. He left me in London. He told me he'll be back in two weeks. But I waited for his phone call. But when they called me, they told me my son had died. He, he did me real bad. When I got a pain. I got a pain. It became so strong. I was taken to Nairobi. I had to take off the clothes because of the pain. Then they took me to India. They did what they could do. I was unconscious. I was in a coma for 10, 10 minutes. They, they put a marrow in my neck. I could not talk. My tongue was twisted. I would just write. By the time I went back to London, I couldn't. But my friend, Harry, American, a friend of mine who is in America told me, I want you to go to Uganda. Gende, Uganda. Kakati. I must bring this miracle. Pastor Kayanja. Pastor Kayanja. This is where I got saved from. I don't remember the year. Long ago. My name is here. You say your, your, your son left you in London. Yes. And he came here. Uganda. In two weeks later, he was dead. He died of what? They said it was an accident. Then, and then you came here to yes. the burial. You got the pain. Instead of returning you to London, they took you to India. Then they operated the wrong side. They operated the wrong side. The devil is a liar. Yes. I said, glorify us. Glorify us. So, 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 I was just quoting the so scriptures. You are now in pain. You need God to heal you. Wait, I got on that one. I was praying. Okay, we are going to be praying for the sick. When we pray for the sick, touch your neck. The Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, He will touch you. He will heal you. When we pray for the sick, so hold on, we will pray for the sick. And you touch there. Yeah. You believe you believe to be healed? Yes. I want to leave this cora here. Okay. So look at me. Let me finish what I'm supposed to do. Now. Then when I pray for the sick, 
you'll touch there. In about an hour, the Lord will heal you. In Jesus' name. I want him to come. I know he's here. But he's not here to heal now. I know he's healing. But your case. He's going to handle it. In Jesus name. Amen. You're welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, I'm called uh, Kaliango Gideon Mutesa Asira. I'm, I'm the son of Bishop Stephen Mutesa Asira from Kamocha. Bishop Mutesa Asira from Kamocha. I'm here because I had a dream. The Bible says in Joel chapter 2 verses 28 that it shall come to pass afterward that I pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. And young men shall see visions. Two weeks ago, I had a dream. I had come here with my father. He's a good friend with Pastor Robert. So when, when he was seated there, Miss, uh, Pastor Robert called him, but Pastor Stephen, come and say hello to the people. So when he came, after saying hello, he said, I came with my son. There is a song he has to teach you that welcomes the Holy Spirit. So I came. Then uh, I woke up after teaching the song. I told my dad about the song. And he was like, okay. Well, it was a dream. So one day, one, when I was praying in the morning, I left work, the spirit came to me. And he told me, I want you to go to Miracle Center and introduce that song that welcomes me. And I told him, but, you, but in the dream, I was supposed to go with my father. And he told me that the name Mutesa is supposed to introduce you. When you go there and you say you're a son of Mutesa, you love an identity. So I'm asking for only one minute that I may, I may sing that song, that I may introduce the song like the Holy Spirit told me. It's very easy. Oh, Holy Spirit, we welcome you today. Fill us with your presence as we give you the praise. Lord, we are a temple. For you alone we wait. Holy Spirit, Welcome in this place. A Holy Spirit, come and take your place. Get up and welcome the Holy Spirit, please. Get up, let's sing. Oh, Holy Spirit, we welcome you today. Just feed us with your praises as we give you. Take your place. Let us sing together. Oh, Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. We welcome you today. Fill us with your praises. Fill us with your as we give you the praise. For we are, for we are your temple. For you. Holy Spirit, come and take your place. You can do it better. Oh, Holy Spirit, we welcome you, we welcome you today. Feel us, Lord, as we give you, as we give you the Holy Spirit, 
What a wonderful song. Lift up your hand. Say, Father, Father, we welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. God is good. Well, finally, Abbe Max music is out. Music Abbe Max music is out. Music Abbe Max I believe God is going to do a tremendous, tremendous work. My God, my God. This is good. Abbe Mark, you look wonderful. Is he here? Man, you, 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 you look like a superstar here. Olinga, superstar. And um, come up here, please. Janguano. Come on, DJ, get his music ready. Selector. In Jesus' name. I know I'm running through a tight rope of time. The pictures here are incredible. They the story. And, um, and his song, of course, is a testimony of what the Lord can do. Yeah, come here, babe. Man, you look wonderful. Where do you get this jacket, man? No jacket, man. What did you wear? Pictures, boutique. And um, and and the pictures are incredible. Have you seen this? What do have you seen? Yes. This is the first time to see this. I was amazed. You mean they didn't show you anything? Wow, it's wonderful. It is. I mean, it's it's. The, the, the smile on the outside. Ah, when you, when you. He reminds me of the movie actor in the U.S. As you a movie star in America. Come on, get get this. <laughs> get this picture. Same as the fan on your screen. Omlaba. Isn't that wonderful? What about here? Look there. I told your guy. Eddie Murphy. It is, uh, it is, it is good. It's good. No, it's like this guy who acted in the movie of the the Ocean, Ocean Eleven, Eleven, Ocean Eleven or something. Huh? I, I, I forgot his name, but ready for him? Wait, I guess. Are you ready for him? Select, are you ready? Okay, man. Come on, sing. Zanya. Get get a get a copy today. Where from the copy? Know. No 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 no. Start all over. Start beat them. Start over. Beat, beat it's them. Terrible. Move. I don't know what happened. Your sound is terrible. Beat them. One. Remember, you are live. 60 million people watching you. Whether you are your DJ or not. Oh, what a wonderful No, 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 it's not coming. It's not coming. Praise the Lord. 
I was brought on chains when I came. I'm a free man now and I'm serving God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your situation is going to be touched by God. No matter how difficult it may be. In Jesus' mighty name. They are put on his picture. We always put that picture. Come on, guys. We have to go.
Well, the music is out. Music so from get yet. yourself a copy. With a copy. And and it is uh, so I'm just going to look at and see um, yeah, we're going to buy it. Tugena kagula. We're going to buy it. Tugena mugula. And uh, Mr. Chiwanuka, how much? Mami Chiwanuka, meka. In support of him. Ngowagira Abemak. Abemak Ministries. Ministries Abemak. International. Amen. Amen. 250. Okay. 250. You're going to be the first one to buy. Also say. You only give me give me three. So. Bampa de Satuzoka. Pastor Jessica. One million. Okay. come. So take take out that CD, please. I don't have to buy none. I'll listen for free. That's good to marry a rich woman. So you Hey, Mr. Chonoka, 500,000. Thank you so much. Um, then, um, <laughs> Pastor Nabulele. Suba Nabulele. One million. Kakadikam. Okay. So how much are the 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 the, the records? CDs and maker maker. Okay, ten thousand. You'll be able to get it on production. production. Go get a copy. a copy. And uh, you will love it. <laughs> Our artists. But artists are starting a TV program. But on program your TV. You're gonna you're gonna love it. I don't know whether their host is here, but all of them chigere. All of them, Munama uh, Sakawari, Kapere, Chigere Kapere, everybody. Bona Bona. I mean, they're going to amaze you. Again, okay, when you saw what God is going to do in their lives, Papa Sun and Papa Sidi, Papa Sidi, so Papa Sidi. <laughs> in Jesus' name. <laughs> and uh, we have so many things going on, <laughs> but I want to take you from the preliminaries quickly. So that we may concentrate on, on something that's great. And, um, ah, man. We have, a, we have a very. Okay, we shall see how the, how the Holy Spirit is going to. Lead us. I want to take you in the, in the first moment so that we, we can get. Hey, make sure you get me some CDs. Before they are finished, at least 20 of them. I know people who want them. Sister Florence Black. We used to call her Florence Black. Sister Florence because the Black. other Florence was brown. Florence brown. And this one was black. And Florence Black. So I want her to get some tapes. And, um, and take them to her children. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. There is also somebody. In, uh, in fact, Pastor Vera says she needs a song. But, said, but what is that? And I said, if you want to lose weight, hallelujah. So buy that CD and get into your house. Then you're going, you're going to be in shape. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. God is good. Amen and amen. Um, brothers and sisters, the today is a very unique day. You've had this is the seventh day of the seventh month of 2017. The Hebrew language Rebrania. is numeral as well as uh, alphabetic. So which means 
Numbers means a lot as words. When you are dealing with the God of the Hebrews. It is very, very powerful. Today is the last day the witches in Mbarara. They came from all over the country trying to revive the spirit of Bachwezi. But the Bachwezi are dead. Actually, they are now afraid of Uganda. Demons will stop at the border and go back. If they cross into Uganda, that's the end of them in Jesus' name. No samize, no bufere, no bolo. Same as witchcraft will fail. Witchcraft is all going. The demons that are getting got into the church. The demons that are getting got into the church. People are prophesying using eggs, using water, using rice, using stuff. In the stuff. name of Jesus, the spirit of Jezebel dies. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more witchcraft. I say no more witchcraft. Over, it's coming from India, coming from China, coming from America, coming from Indonesia. Witchcraft is dead the moment it steps in Uganda. Come on, jump seven times and say fire! 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 No more witchcraft. There is no sword against Israel. There is no Mayembe. Jacket Arezo. Remove these shaker lights. At the now we touch our own Gebwa. And you're unbewitchable. The blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit, and God Almighty is Lord over Uganda. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, there are two things I wanted you to see. Otherwise, I'll forget them. There are two videos I wanted you to see. Please, you can play them. They may be seated. Whoever is on the control, please. There is no sound. Dayo, I will take a sound. Go back. Beat them. Start again. Tandika, we tandikira. Makuli ke dovos. There is no sound. Come on, go back Damu. and put on the sound. Mm -hmm. Start all over again. Mm -hmm.
shut it off and start all over again. I listened to that video before it came here. Okay. <sighs> the um, in two weeks, less than two weeks. Four hundred and twenty-five couples are gonna be joining holy matrimony. And uh, it's gonna be amazing. So please support them be with them encourage them and make sure that you attend the first wedding we did phase one was nine couples phase two 200 phase three was 208 now is 425 we give god the glory all bills paid. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. It's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. In Jesus' name. Okay, in, in redemption of time, uh, because I want us to pray before we click into, oh, we're already into another day. So, let me just go back. Um, fix it first and then you let me know when you are ready. Now, this yesterday, because we already crossed into another day, it will never happen again. It will take a thousand years for it to happen. 07, 07, It will never happen again. What does that mean? That means that yesterday or today, still the same night, is very important to God. And I want us to capture that. I want us to have it. So let me give you some scriptures of the Holy Spirit. Then we are going to have a short prayer when you are going to claim the things God has for you. In the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 27, verse 10, he said the sevens for the seventh month was Helets, Helets, Yali Helets, which is Herez in Oba English, Herez. but in Hebrew will be Herets. Bamita Herets, Murebrania. Peronite of the sons of Ephraim, Ephraim. and in his division, division were 24,000 people. Mwani Mwaba and Tumitwale na Mwenkuminya. You said, what is this? Obuza Chichecho. You have to go back in the book of Chronicles, especially from chapter 21. The scripture said, and Satan came up against Israel. Satan will always come against the vision of God in you. Israel was never a name of the Hebrews. It was given to them in the rest of March where Jacob was involved. He was wrestling with God. God changed his name from Jacob to Israel. So Israel is God's name. And from that moment on, we saw two nations merging from one man. There is a nation of, the, of Isaac, of, Je of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which yielded into Israel, even to the current state. It was given by God. Parents give us names. We name our companies. But I want you to hear this. Tonight, God is dropping a name that will smash every demon that has ever been in your family. God is dropping a name today. 
0707 in the next five minutes you're going to understand what I'm talking about God is going to drop something incredible in your life that will be the beginning the new beginning of of the proper organization one of the problem in Africa is that we are so much disorganized our disorganization make organization demonic our confusion and disorganization because it's too much it makes organization look demonic. Okay. If food gets burned too much, it makes it may make the food which has not got burned to smell bad. If poverty is too much on your life, real poverty, you may hate riches and wealth. You don't get it yet. If your unlearned, if it comes to a deeper level, you hate the educated and the learned. Filth. When it has eight layers of filth on you, you got, the, you got eight layers of filth on you. When you see the smart, you think they are demonic, they are agents of the devil. Not knowing the Holy Ghost, when it's too much on your life, every time you see the Spirit filled, you can think they are ghosts or devils. But tonight, God is going to drop something in you. God is going to drop something in you which will change everything in your life. The anointing of Israel. That's what they call the anointing of Israel. The Bible says Satan came up against Israel. It's amazing that Jacob, Satan never came after him. But he came after Israel. Because Israel is the divine in Jacob. He came up against Israel. And he said, count the name of the people of Israel. That is chapter 21. First Chronicles. But later on, from that verse on, we began to see that in, in verse 18, David had realized that he had done a mistake. He repented. How did he repent? There are so many levels of repentance. But the greatest repentance that is going to change your things around and drive so many demons. Because when the devil is attacking you, he thinks now you are finished. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When he tempts you and attack you, he thinks you are finished. He does not know that by attacking you, it causes God himself to get involved. Because he said, I chose you, you did not chose me. You didn't, it was, I was not on your choice list. God said, I chose you so that you go out there and you bear and you bear fruit, and that your fruit shall remain. Save passing him. You didn't choose Jesus. The grace of God picked you up. God saved him. Knowing he can bear fruit. Even though he did not know it. From tonight. You don't bear fruit. And your fruit will remain. God is going to drop a divine thing. You'll bear fruit from tonight till December 31st. You're going to bear much fruit this year, this week. 
weekend. That's why I said this this weekend. Weekend. And this week is very powerful. The Harvard uh, Harvard School of Economics. Harvard School of Economics. There are researchers there. I told these people to post that thing up so that you can read it and send it to all our partners. Listen to this child of God. They came out with a study and Uganda should be rejoicing over this because this is part of the prophecy that the Lord gave on the 18th of May at Kololo. I was part of the, the, the team that were praying for for the for the swearing in of the president and the prophecy came out in fact today i got a call from uh, from the former uh, secretary for african affairs uh, and uh, bill clinton administration and uh, and and she called me she said I'm hearing what's taking place. I'm hearing what's going on. What is it? And I said, well, this is what's taking place. He said, have you, have you seen the report that came out of Harvard? I pretended I had not seen it. I said, what does it say? If you know it's concerning you and you know about it, if they tell you you're looking good, don't say, I know. That's not good manners. Are you sure? Tell me now. And they begin to tell you. So I said to her, I said, I said, no, I haven't heard. She said, I'm going to send it to you. He said, they have said, in that from 20 now to 2025, the next 10 years, the fastest growing economy, when all other nations are slowing down, like China, China Europe, and America, America, and others, the fastest growing economy is going to be Uganda and India. Uganda and India. Stay seated on your plastic seat. You die of the commando. But the Lord said, all eyes are going to be on Uganda. Child of God, that means Uganda is, not, is nothing without you. Now God says, you're going to bear fruit and that your fruit shall remain. Child of God, get ready. Even science is proving it. The Spirit said it, and scientists are proving it. The weather is endorsing it. Have you ever seen such rain in July? There was snow in Nairobi. Weather has changed. Okay, you're not, you're, not, you're not ready to listen to what I'm talking about. Child of God, get ready. Your car will produce triplets all the time. But today is very important. 7, 7, 17. 7, 7, 7, 7, 17. 17. 17. Sit down, sit down. Sir. Okay. Now, the confusion came in Israel to King David. And that is chapter 21. Chapter 21. He counted 70,000 people died. 70,000 has seven in it. They were supposed to have cemented and augmented Israel. Soviet, but they died. Pestilence killed them. But that's what the enemy does. He, he wants to kill your 70,000. He wants to kill your 70,000. But we are wise now. We are repenting by building an altar. 77 dogs is now an altar. I said it's our altar. Whatever failure you drop it on the altar. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Uganda is waking up. Uganda is ukuka. Even places you never thought they would really get up and pray. The church, first of all, in Uganda is awake. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. It is awake. People pray. Those who don't pray, they watch on TV. 
People are no longer sleeping in their beds. They stay in the sitting room all night long. Praying in tongues. Self-transfer go down. People don't sleep no more. People are listening. When you touch the door, they say fire. Somebody stand up on your feet. Clap your hands to the Holy Spirit for waking up Uganda. Uganda. Make sure you get those pictures. Me, I'm so excited. I prayed for Kampala. I prayed for Kampala. Way back in 1983, even many of you before you were saved, I always tell the story. When you were at the, at, 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 at uh, this is called Norman Cinema, which is now Watoto Church. Yeah, we used to rent it to pray. In the city, 1980, 1986, 87, 88, we used to gather there, hire it and pray. And, 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 and some of the students who were there were the ED of Kampala, Jen Francisi, of UNRWA, uh, Alan Kajina, good students. And we prophesy. And we say God is going to place people. You people who are here. In the position of leaders. We are interceding at 200 intercessors. But all of them. Up to now. All of them. Up to now. All of them. That we prayed for. None of them is a little bitty. Including myself. They are all piggies. Deep water. Teddy Mutono. None is small. Katinawa Liwan. You who is here? To Sabanawe. We pray to Katin Mezimuenda. In nine months now. Kan Kumuli the Mumiezi Mokak. In six months time. Toja Kuvera Mutono Mutukachewa when a Mosiewa. Man, I look back and I say, Katondo Damwesal. God answers prayer. Kat finally Kampala. Now Kampala. Again, I'm going to fly away. He's on half flyways. Ah, ah. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Jesus. I said victory belongs to Jesus. Man, I had, a, I had those pictures. I, I don't know where they are. Post them. Enoch, where are you? What is be in the, behind those technologies? These guys are so slow. They need help. <laughs> so, child of God. Okay, you'll see the, those pictures. Yes. 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 Asatumurumu, December, December, Abalokole, Balokole, what do I get a Mugana Kubaba Gaga? You go on, Kamunina said of reaching Avan Tabala, having more money than anybody else. So when David built the altar, he said, I cannot give something to God which has cost me nothing. And guess what I did? He bought the, the animal of the man. Now, you made an altar to make the whole story short. And this is what happened. God sent an angel. The angel had come to destroy the whole city. Then the angel turned around, went to God, reported to God. They are now praying. I don't know why I want to kill you. I don't know why the devil sent you. But the angel of the Lord is going back to God. The Holy Spirit is going to tell God, leave them alone. Spare them their forest. They are publishing God will send you a billion that you have never seen before. You live good. You eat good. You live home. You have money. You will not grow old. You will not age, but you will grow. Live long. Here he. So, Chapter 22, we begin to see David out of confusion. Somebody say confusion. Say it again. 
Say it again. Com confusion. Oh, you get ampola. Speak up. Confusion. Gamba confusion. In the name of Jesus. There was a spirit of confusion in Uganda. They plant to do something. Then they change it. People like they don't understand. Then they that spirit of confusion God revealed it to me yesterday. It's like witchcraft. They promised to a father. And five years go by. And they said, the person disappeared. The man is eaten. They do the diverting. They divert. They said, don't get mad at nobody. Grab that spirit of confusion. Buy it and cast it out. Spirit of confusion. Sister Jessica, I'm going to call us for Sunday. Priest, I'm going to call us for Sunday. But we took it lightly. We did not know. We did not know. Now here you could hear. People know what to do. They know what to do. And they like to do it. But then they change themselves. They say what they ought not to say. Something is supposed to be a way. That is a spirit of confusion. Where is the fire? Fire! Fire! It's getting out of Uganda. It's getting out of Uganda. A judge knows what to do. That you are the right one. Then they said, Let me inquire. That spirit walks like a fly. Moves like flies. Muambe muske, musule kutaka molinye ko. Throw it down. Throw it down. Oyo wa confusion. Crush that demon of confusion now. Destroy that demon. Someone gets to start. He's supposed to educate the children. Then he has the money. He says, what do we do now? What should we do during this? Kids have to go to school. Then the money is stolen. He doesn't build the house. That's spirit. He marries another called procrastination. Confusion. Where was a procrastination? Why is confusion marries or who? Ah! Or who can save it? Erinyo li nzo kukura kumutwe. Your head can grow a tooth. Omo yo yo go baita. Lindi lida. That demon called procrastination. Let's first wait. Soba soba. Go slow. Tugende mpola banange. Let's go slow. That demon has bound Africa and kept it backward. We drive it out of Uganda in Jesus' name. We command speed to come in Jesus' name. People eating this one that way. They are eating this one that way. They are. That was a spirit on David. Uh-huh. Look at that. Zezo. That is uh, flyovers. Zezo. Super highways. Kubira Yesu Christo. Somebody. Atano ulida. Listen. Ama ulida amalunji. Good news. Idi yangambi. Ama ulida amalunji. Idi told me. Madam Jennifer Msi yangambi. Madam Jennifer Msi told me. Internet They already got the money to build, to construct that stuff. Spice too long. No rent so get your kids a motor can nunji. Believe God for a good car. Oh, judge it too, Ramu. You gon' see it. Oh, kumiro mu labewo. Anpa an. Ntinganda kuita kukolo kota wa. I call your name, your enemy. Na yebera wa nsi we mpitira. So wait for me and let me pass. Bolera wa kulu. I'll be up there. Omogamba, ah, take out your kiri de wa nsi. Why are you down there? Come on now. May God show you with Israel. Hey! Next sentence. This is in Agule Motokazazeda. The money for your car is already here. Mulo kole kola bibiri bioka. Just good to think. Kwene nya. Repent. 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 David repented and built an altar. 
na Uganda tuzimba lutai makaga fe mu nyumba za fe mu makanisa ga fe kuje muri muje tukolera put there an altar sigama ti altar kwa zimbe kabera unge sabo not like a shrine buli chera bela mu kusaba buli chera bela mu nimi bobo tambla rap prosecute report Confusion in Fuluma Uganda. Confusion. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whether you like this it or not. Yeah. This is our year. 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 This is our time. This is our time. This is our time. Now, verse 10. Now, you could see the organization. Out of nowhere. The musicians were organized. What confuses these musicians? Not many are the devils. Confusion. The spirit of confusion. confusion And confusion comes because of prayerlessness. You can't build an altar when you don't have a sacrifice. You ain't got no sacrifice. Most musicians and singers don't pray. They are prayerless. Instead of prayer, they practice. I said, instead of prayer, they are in practice. Confusion. 24-7. Pastors. Instead of prayer, they are pastoring. Confusion But watch this. You could follow chapter 22, chapter 23, chapter 24. Even the Levites, everybody was organized. But see the strength. They lost 70,000. But watch this. Then God appointed 12 commanders. A commander for every military division. And every division, division was 24,000 troops. And these were to serve the king of Israel. These were to serve the, the, the nation of Israel. Once a month. Once a year just for one month but the one who served is the one I'm most interested the one who served in the seventh month on the seventh day of that year in first chronicles chapter 27 verse 10 it is fascinating he said the seventh Day for the seventh month was Heret, the Peronite of the sons of Ephraim. And in his division were 24,000 troops. Do you know that you went for duty 30 days? The rest of it, you went home to be with your family. Israel generated over 280. 8,000 troops to protect kingdom. You missed it. America. 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 President Trump. President Trump. Talinaba secret service. He doesn't have secret service. Mitwala abiri mumunana mukana. Two hundred eighty-eight thousand. He doesn't have those many. Aba mukuma. That protect. Talina. He doesn't have those many. If there are so many, there may be two, three thousand. You don't have that many. What does that mean? They serve a month and they go home. And another why do they go home for 11 months to be with their family to raise their children to work on their business every child of God whether you are in a whether you are whether you are married, whether you are in a family you will have a family business that will bring money uncountable. Amen. The Bible says this young man, Heretz, 
Heretz. Heretz. Heretz means Chitegeza. strong oh, man. or strength. Oh, man. He had unique strengths. He was one of the commanders of David's army. He's from the tribe of Ephraim. But also he came from the little town called Peron. Peron. Peroni. Peron was like the secrets are no more. It is a place that has no vision. But then there came a very strong military commander. And his job was to keep David on the seventh month of every year. And he commanded 24,000 men in uniform. Now watch this, child of God. To you, 24,000 is easy. But that means every month you have to feed the, David had to feed 288,000 troops. Breakfast, Breakfast lunch, lunch, and dinner. Give them uniform. uniform boots, boots, helmets, helmets swords, swords, training, training, transportation, housing. This reveals that though the devil had attacked David and he sinned and caused harm to Israel, God blessed Israel because a poor country cannot finance such armies. You have you just rotate the troops. Whoever worked on project A, after two days, he rests for two days, then he comes back to, to work. That's what we do today. Even UPDF, UPDF. Or, 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 or SFC, SFC. They, they all do the same. You're on a mission in mission. Then the president go to good. To those people. I live in Mubende. I've worked. Why do I go to be prayed for? In an overnight prayer. Because he wanted to glorify God. God met him with his power. Now he's walking perfectly well. Child of God, your miracle is waiting. If you are ready to glorify God, if you are ready to lift up the name of the Lord, if you are ready to honor the Holy Spirit, God will honor you. He said, I'll honor those who will honor me. In fact, he says the glory of the of the of the latter will be greater than the former. Let us be the Uganda that glorifies the Holy Spirit. I say, let's be the Uganda that glorifies the Holy Spirit. You could see how David reorganized Israel. Out of what the devil intended for him, God worked out miracles. I don't know who is attacking you, but God is going to do great things. Heretz was one of the most Powerful, formidable commanders in David's army. And also, in the seventh month, the reason why he's so unique, he taught a course at the temple. He was not only he was not only commanding troops to protect, but he was teaching the people of God how to, f how to live. Your life is not yet to glorify God. Your life is going to become so exemplary that it will teach others how to follow God. Because the Bible said they all shall be taught by the Holy Spirit. That's what the Bible said. And the biblical reference is first 
2 Samuel chapter 28 verse 26 1 Chronicles 2 39 1 Chronicles 11 27 1 Chronicles 27 10 you will find all the things about this hate guy in Jesus mighty name now listen to this 77 according to the Greek is so powerful it's like an atomic bomb. No wonder the witches are so scared in Uganda. But in the Greek, 77 is the sign of the rainbow. It's the sign of the rainbow. It's the sign of the rainbow. What will you choose? A kale ninja ziri kuguru. Amen. Rainbow. Lange ninja ziri and one more ziri. The many colors that appear, the rainbow. To have been to be a katonda rubal. Amen. What will ever be a musoka in a nanga in a karang as in one so good? Will you go very well to be a musoka a vera pochal? Bria. Listen. Aburuganda. Listen. Is a sign of the rainbow. Kabonedoka rainbow Rain represents e God will never destroy D. humanity again. Oh, my God is not going to destroy you. To destroy everyone. Because he has blessed you. When God blesses you, family, in your family, nobody is going to be messed up. Once God fills the Holy Spirit in your home, nobody will be thrown out of the house because you are going to build for them houses. You are the rainbow in that family. Joseph did not know he was a rainbow. His father gave him a garment of many colors and he never knew he was a moving rainbow. And wherever you see a rainbow, we all have a rainbow. Abaganda baganti engezara. They say the leopard is giving birth. Oh, your science, wow! That's the Baganda science. Bere bagamba mbo 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 gobai tamusoke mbo asimbi amuluzi. Anyo amazi gona gwa. So-called musoke is in the river and drinking water. Even though you want to entertain it, wherever there is water, we wear a garment of many colors. That's why there is that garment of Uganda. People of Uganda, Uganda. To to dominate nations where you are not born. Clap your hands to Ogenda Jesus. You're going to lead your clan Mubugaga, in wealth, Mumagezi, in wisdom, Oromo, by the Holy Spirit. Yesu Clap your Zaba. hands to Jesus. So, Sunday, not Subwa. Don't miss this Sunday. For be anointed for the next two weeks. Be in the presence of God. Plant your zimba Build an altar. The altar God has given us He's not on mountains. Kumuti, He's not on trees. He's not anywhere else. He's not in the village. He's the Holy Spirit and power. Publishing him. The altar. God said, publish the Holy Spirit. Glorify my name. Glorify me. And see what I'm going to do. David is known as a man who the Holy Spirit. You can take anything else. But don't take away your Holy Spirit. Don't. You can take everything, but leave the Holy Spirit with me. But now Uganda, the secret for wealth is repentant while building the altar of the Holy Spirit. You will see. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. You're going to see. The impossible. God will make them possible. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. In Revelation, I will share this one on, 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 on Sunday. Because this will bless your heart. Yeshua, Messiah, he, Yahweh. 
Yes, they all proceed from 777. Then they end up in 777. People of God. Microseconds, Mosamvu. In seven microseconds. Moseconds, Mosam. In seven seconds. Mo minute, Mosam. In seven minutes. Mo micro minute, Mosam. In seven micro minutes. Mo week, Mosam. In seven weeks. Mo naku, Mosam. In seven days. Mo week, Mosam. Seven weeks. Mo mwezi, Mosam. In seven months. Mo miaka, Mosam. Seven years. And said Yakutu no leader. The world will look at you. And get a bit to watch a cartoon. And behold the glory of God. The secret is this. Is on the Holy Spirit. Everyone we see in the Bible. They held on to the Holy Spirit. Tonight. I want you to show your sin. The publishers of the Holy Spirit. We're going to publish 77 phase four. in phase 4. Only. Half of what we produced in three books. In this fourth phase, I came with my seed. I want the blessing of God. I want God today to empower me, to make me a commander. Of 24,000. Of a division. A division. Of a division. A division commander. Of a division. A division commander. Of a division. Of a division. In the kingdom of God. You remember as kings and priests. You'll have 288,000 people. 288,000 people. In your factories. You are employing them. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. I know there are 200,000 people. 288,000 people. Who want to support the work of God. We are 24,000 people. Watching channel 44. Sow a seed of a book you've never saw. Let's publish these books. The batteries are in a hotel, hold up in some hotel. They ain't got no money. They are looking for their power. Anyway, let them rest. They were exhausted for no reason. Whatever they have gathered, we have sent it in the Nyanga, the dungeon. Praise the Lord. Get hold of your seed. Some of you have never seen a seed that is going to shake the world. You probably need to sow a seed with seven in it. Maybe 77. Maybe 7,000. Maybe 70,000. Maybe Maybe, maybe, maybe seven million. Whatever. Someone has brought their seed. They didn't want to mention them. Two thousand pounds worth of a seed for publishing the Holy Spirit books. That's nearly ten million bucks. Another one brought ten million recently. So the publishing of the Holy Spirit books. We won't publish seventy-seven thousand books. When you get this, a new one you give away the old one. The one you've been reading. Because the Lord said to the children of Israel to hearken unto his commandments and made them a powerful nation. David built an altar. And tonight we too, God, we talk about what we've never done before. Let's accomplish the Holy Spirit. So, no real song here, but I'm going to be one of the. One of the uh, 7,000. If you're one of the 7,000 prophets, come up hither. Or in a million, you're one, one million of the 7,000. Come up hither. I'll pray for you. But the rest of us, may the Lord perform miracles for us. May the Lord perform miracles for us. May the Lord perform miracles for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
buli mwezi every month aba serikali emitwale abiri mwe 24000 the king emitwale abiri mwe 24000 people of god mokama achukubalire may he do it for you akwe factory may he give you a factory May he bring to you money you've never seen before. Angels beyond the normal. Even those of you watching by television. There is a code there for MTN. You go online. Get online. On 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 www dot channel forty four store. Where you store, where uh, you'll find address. PayPal, PayPal, PayPal if you're outside the country. In the name of Jesus. Confusion here. Sentences Your money cometh to you now. You'll know what to do with it. Yet the Israel lost 70,000 men. You know what that means? Those were 70,000 corpses in one day. Those were 70,000 graves in one day. It means there were 70,000 widows that day. They were created that day. But God, but God brought in 288,000 new forces in the army. People who lack nothing. About Uganda. People of God. Whatever you've lost, you can bring it a hundred times more. You can bring it a hundred times more. You can bring it a hundred times too much supernatural power. You can bring it to a place you've never seen before. You can take it to another level. Say so thank you, Jesus. I am here to publish the Holy Spirit. My God, this is my seed. I bring it here. To publish the Holy Spirit. I commit myself to lift the glory of God. Let no one deceive you. I preached for 37 years. Is the prayer. Of God. And the presence of God is the Holy Spirit. You wait. In about two hours from now, when he comes, the lady who came all the way from England, she's going to leave that The creepers will leave that stick here. The way Honorable Castle left his stick here. I I the craziness here, the lunacy here. You you're going to leave your problems here. Nobody should deceive you. You're leaving poverty and problems so here. Get hold of your Ogambe, soul. Say, oh God in heaven. Today is a unique day. Kubanga. Because the kingdom of God the has come upon me. Bunumbie. Has invaded Bunpambie. me. Has come upon Bunyingide. me. Has come into me. In the name of Jesus. Okuvalero. From today. I got the power to make wealth, to be alive, to work with my strength. Love. Glory, glory, glory. Oh Holy Spirit. I ask you one thing. Don't depart from me. Don't leave me on the road. And tonight, tell God in heaven. I am your partner. I am your partner. You're going to see God is about to invade you in your house. Change everything around about Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
as you are giving, keep on laughing.